Hello, mixers. If you're like me, keeping flavor notes can be somewhat cumbersome. You know, we're all busy. We all have a life. So in this series, I test the flavors. That way you will have more information. So when you're online ordering all your flavors, you'll have more information. And that way you can make a more educated decision. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? I am John from JFM Development, and here at JFM Development, we're all about helping the community learn how to mix, help beginners, learn how to do flavor notes, learn how to do anything involving DIY, that's what I'm here for. So, today we have an interesting video, and it is about a flavor note. We are doing a flavor note on Flavor West Cherry Berry. Now, we're doing a couple on Flavor West right now because I already did some with Flavora. I did some with Capella. I figured, you know, I'll, I'll do a couple of each and keep shifting them out different companies. That way you guys constantly have different branded flavors that are getting flavor reviews. And it's always something different within the week. I thought that would be the best idea. So again, today's uh, flavor note is on Flavor West Cherry Berry. It's an interesting one that I wanted to pick up. I know a very popular YouTuber in the vape community loves his uh, Cherry Berry Vapes indoor smokers. So when I saw this flavor, I'm like, hey, well, I never tried that vape he's talking about, but Cherry Berry, that kind of sounds good. I like Cherry Berries, and I thought that it might work good in a cheesecake. So I kind of wanted to flavor test it and see if it would get me good to a nice Cherry Berry cheesecake. Sounds good, right? So, of course, like always, I'm not going to show you the whole mix-up process, but I just mix this up in a 5% solution. Uh, what you want to do when you're dealing with, like, Flavor West and TFA, go with the rule of 5%. Mix it up at 5%, then that way, if it's too weak, too strong, you'll know how to back down on it a little bit or add more percentage. But for this video, I only did 5% of the Flavor West Cherry Berry. But before I drip this on my atomizer and test it, let me smell it and see what I can get from it and put some on my hand and test it that way. Wow, that smells good. It smells like a little bit of cherry. Maybe some raspberry. Maybe a little bit of blueberry. You can definitely smell cherry and raspberry. Alright, well, let's see what it's like on the hand. Taste a little bit of cherry. Maybe a little bit of raspberry and blackberry, but it's kind of like, it's really faint, if you know what I mean. Alright, so we tried it on the hand. Let's see what it tr translates into vapor. Let me clear my palate for a minute. Alright, so we'll try this on the atomizer. I'm going to drip it, and I will probably speed this process up. Okay, so I got it all dripped in the atomizer. Let's give it a go. Cheers. That's interesting. All right. Well, I'm tasting, I'm tasting cherry for sure. And again, there there might be a little bit of raspberry and blackberry at, at the bottom end. Yeah, but even the cherry is faint. It's like it's a very mellow flavor. Uh, I'm also gonna again to say that you could also bring this up in percentage. This was in at five percent. I would say you probably could go maybe 6 or 7% on this one. Uh, what flavors would this go good with? See, I have cheesecake in my mind. I'm thinking this would go good with a cheesecake or any kind of like beverage type flavor you're trying to make. If you're trying to make a beverage vape or a fruit mix or, or even some bakeries. Um, I would use this as a base flavor. Okay, I wouldn't... I wouldn't necessarily use this as a standalone. I, I would mix it with others no matter what. But this would make good as a base flavor. If you're trying to make a nice berry mix or a berry cocktail, anything like this, this might work as a good foundation or just like some accent notes in the background. I wouldn't say that this is a good standalone flavor. Um, I'm, I'm really thinking cheesecake when it comes to this. Yeah, yeah, definitely fruit mixes, cheesecakes. Again, I, I mixed this tester up at 5%. I 
I will be reviewing this again in a week if in case it changes, but considering it's a fruit, it's probably not. And at 5% seems a little bit weak still. You probably could go up. But considering the way it tastes and everything, there's cherries, but they're kind of like on the low end. And and you, you taste like a smidge of like raspberry and a smidge of blackberry. I think that this would probably work best as a base flavor. If you're trying to make a fruit mix, you lay uh, the cherry berry down. Say you want to add some blueberries and raspberries on top of it and it's kind of just like an accent note in the background it's it's not really gonna i don't think this flavor is gonna be any main attraction flavor um now if i had to rate it see i see potential in this one but by no means am i uh very impressed by it so if i'd have to rate it uh, it'd be a sideways thumb up. It's not even one thumb up. I'm going to say it's a sideways thumb up. And the reason I'm saying that is because while I do see potential in it, uh, to me it kind of falls victim to some of uh, Flavor West flavors where they kind of, they kind of have like this weird uh, artificialness to them. Um, if you've been trying some flavors for a while, especially uh, Flavor West, you might know what I'm talking about. But I think this uh, cherry berry kind of falls a little victim to it. But it can easily be mas masked up by, again, using other flavors on top of it. Uh, so I don't think it's 100% necessary unless you're really trying to get a specific cherry berry flavor. But again, it's not going to do it by itself. So... I think I pretty much touched on everything. I hope it helped you. Uh, again, I'm giving it a halfway thumbs up. I, I'm not sure if I could recommend this one. Uh, unless you're trying to get a cherry berry flavor. It's it's not going to be one of those blow you out of the water flavors. Uh, it's going to be something in a rare case if you need that specific flavor. And again, it's not a main attraction flavor. And again, these are just my opinions. Um, your taste is subjective. Your your flavor might be different to you. So again, but I hope this really helped you. I think that's all I got for this one. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the content. Please like and subscribe. Also, in the links down below, there has all the stuff I use in my videos. There is scales. DG, PG, stuff to make coils, everything you need for v DIY mixing, links will be in the descriptions. Those are affiliate links, but what those do is those help the channel so I can afford to get flavors and do everything I need to do to bring excellent content to you, give you excellent flavor notes, and all that great stuff. So any help does help me, and it will go right back into the channel. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're doing big things here at JFM Development, and I would love for you to be a part of it. And one last thing, if you're not following me on social media, I am JFM Development on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace. So you guys like this video. That's awesome. I have some more great videos right up here. Maybe you should click on one and check it out. Well, why are you guys still sitting here? Click on a video. Here's some more stuff I'm making DIY e-liquid. There's perhaps another playlist or my most recent video. Check that out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Peace.